Hey guys, we had an odd issue tonight with our Tesla Model X. It's running version 10 software. I don't know if the software version has anything to do with it, but I thought I'd mention it. So what ended up happening is my wife was backing into the garage and halfway in, the car started throwing up a bunch of error messages on the main display panel. It said regenerative braking disabled, traction control disabled, stability control disabled, ABS system disabled, park assist unavailable, and then it also had things like autopilot is disabled, um, regenerative braking, the whole nine yards. Pretty much every control system in the car was disabled. So I did some searches. I figured, all right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try a soft reset. You do a soft reset by holding down both of the control wheels on the steering wheel. And when you hold them down, both screens will go blank. Type of steering control in vehicles. Thanks, Siri. <laughs> so what that does is it does a soft reboot of the entire system. It takes about a minute for everything to start coming back on. You'll notice this display first. You'll get a Tesla logo. And then shortly after, you'll get a Tesla logo over here. Now, when we did that, it still was broken. That didn't solve the problem. So the next step in troubleshooting would be typically to do a hard reboot which, at least from what I've read, you hold down both of these and the brake pedal and you hold the brake pedal down until the Tesla logo comes up on the system. That didn't fix it either. The next thing I tried was to go into safety and security, turn off sentry mode, and then power the vehicle off for two or three minutes. Again, tried that, that didn't work. So based on a suggestion by Tommy R over on Reddit, big thank you, buddy. You go into the service section, so we'll pull up the main menu, you go into service, you go into the wheel configuration, which is a new thing since uh, I believe the last two or three releases, and you simply change the configuration. You can change either the wheel size or the color. You press confirm, and what this does is it forces a hard reset. So what's going to happen is everything's going to power down, but it's going to power down all of the systems completely. And that should happen in just a few seconds here. There it goes. And now we wait. You can see the lights shut off in the car. Even the fans have shut off. It's completely killing everything. You can hear one of the computer systems or a control system just fired back on. Maybe the pumps to the battery, the main display, kicked back on it has power again we should get a Tesla logo and then the main display lights are back on and the rest should come back on now there we go that completely solved the issue the main panel does no longer no longer has those warnings on it up here there's no longer a warning that took care of everything so if you ever have all of those messages come on pull over to a safe place and you can perform a wheel configuration hard reset and that should take care of the issue for you